Don't see you in here very often. No, I was on my way to the college, thought I'd call in. Oh, doing woodwork or something? No, I'm seeing them about Matthew. Oh, and you thought you'd need a drink first? No, oh, it was early, that was all. Oh, so he's, uh, he's not in trouble again, then? No, he's not in trouble again. What do you mean, again? Oh, Stephen said there was some trouble about his timetable. Uh, had to move English. It clashed. Well, that's not his fault if they can't arrange a timetable. What did it clash with? History? Economics? Oh, I think it was his dental appointments. <laughs> he doesn't have dental appointments. Oh. I'm sure that's what Stephen said. Uh, <clears throat> how's Stephen doing? Oh, wonderfully well. They're very pleased with him. You know what they're predicting? Wait for it. A and two Bs. Uh, A and two Bs. <laughs> how about Matthew? Well, we haven't had a firm prediction, and I shouldn't say this, but uh, <clears throat> we're hoping for a couple of A's. Matthew? Oh, well, you'll need them for Oxford. Oxford? Balliol! Matthew? I didn't know he was the academic type. Yeah, he's a late developer. Oh. Oh, what like Percy's lad? Your Dusty's a late developer, any person. Developing his eating, that's all he's doing. <laughs> Had a whole loaf for his tea. Well, I suppose he's a growing lad. Growing lad? Damn near 30. <laughs> Nearly 30 and he's still doing his A-levels? He finds it difficult. But surely if he keeps taking them, he'll find it gets easier each time. No, he's getting worse. Why? He says they keep changing the questions. <laughs> how'd, you, uh, how'd you rate his chances this time, Empress? Chances? Well, to get them through, you mean? He's more chance of being struck by lightning. In there, most nights, he is playing pool. Huh. Says it helps him to relax. <laughs> well, I'm happy to say I don't have that trouble with Stephen. Three hours solid slog every night. That's only because you keep him locked in. <laughs> uh, drink, Henry. You may need it. Couldn't lock Dusty in his room. He'd have the door off its inches. Well, I don't have to coerce Matthew. No, we talk to each other. I can reason with him. That's why he's at home now, flying through his history. No, he's not. He's in there, playing pool. <laughs> what? Now, gentlemen, should we shoot pool? Five ball into the middle pocket, returning off the cushion, gently nudging the four ball to one side, and leaving me a relatively simple eight into the corner. <laughs> or, to put it in historical terms, with the table representing Europe 1800 and the cue ball Napoleon, we go through the St Bernard's Pass here, falling on the Austrians at Marengo here, whilst Moreau, making his way through the Black Forest here, completes the victory at Owen Linden by sinking the eight ball into the corner pocket. Oh, hello, that's Matthew <laughs> Are you waiting as well? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, I suppose they're all in the common room, having a cup of tea and planning the next pay claim. <laughs> Three months holiday a year. You'd think they'd get all the talking done by then, wouldn't you? But no, no, too busy rock climbing, pottering, <laughs> organising trips abroad. What a life. <laughs> and they get paid for it. <laughs> yes. I remember this place when it was a seat of learning. What is it now? A home for delinquents. I mean, look at you. Feet on the desk, reading the paper. No responsibility, that's the trouble. Well, it's not your fault, it's the teachers. No discipline. I mean, tell me, honestly, when did you last do any real work? This afternoon. I'm a teacher. <laughs> We're talking about responsibilities. What about the responsibility of the parent? Kids come here from broken homes and bad housing, and we're expected to make good citizens of them. And we have to do this on inadequate resources and insufficient staff. And if we do succeed in educating them, they still can't get a job and then they're thrown back onto the streets. Whose responsibility is that? I blame the government. <laughs> and you're Mr... Uh... Willows. Ah. I've been expecting you. My name's Palmer. Yes, uh, well, Mr Palmer, I've come here to discuss Matthew's chances in his A-levels. There's no need to roll your eyes. What are they? Not good, I'm afraid. It's a pity, really, because he writes a decent essay. Just that he has trouble with facts. Can't remember them. Doesn't learn them. <laughs> it's not entirely his fault, what with the speech impediment. It, it makes asking questions in class something of an ordeal for him. Wait a minute. What speech impediment? The stutter. He hasn't got a stutter. Of course he's got a stutter. I know it only manifests itself when he's under pressure, but that's the same with the asthma. <laughs> the asthma? 
Don't tell me you didn't know about that either. No, I didn't know about the asthma. Was it sudden? Good heavens, no. He's had it all term. I've often seen him struggling for breath. He's struggling for breath when I see him. <laughs> Mr. Willows, are things any better at home? Better at home? What do you mean, better at home? Well, I realise you two have a rather stormy relationship. On and the what... contrary. We have a very amicable relationship. That's not what I understood. And he feels that his mother doesn't love him either. Well, would you? <laughs> I wonder if that's the root cause of his nervous tension. He feels rejected by both of you. Yes, he'll feel rejected when I see him. <laughs> I'd like you to see the principal. I know he's very worried about Matthew's dental appointments. <laughs> dental appointments? Oh, Matthew. Yes, then? Come here, let me look at you. What? Well, I haven't looked at you for some time, have I? <laughs> no. Well, I think I may have been taking you a little bit for granted. The trouble is, when you're close to someone, you don't always notice a change in them. Not straight away. How are your teeth? Teeth? Yeah, open up, let me see. Oh, yes. What? It's like a graveyard in there. <laughs> you should have something done. There's nothing wrong with my teeth. They're perfect. Are you sure? Sure you don't need a few fillings? Little delicate bridge work? No. Oh, that's funny. Mr Palmer seems to think you're having trouble with your teeth. Palmer? He also thinks you have trouble with facts. I told him you don't have any trouble with facts. If you don't like them, you change them. In other words... <laughs> You're a compulsive liar. I can explain that. And can you explain why someone with perfect teeth requires extended dental treatment? I have no faith in Palmer. He's not up to it. I prefer to work alone. I've had to take issue with him on several points. Oh, you managed to get over the stutter then. Stutter? <laughs> you told him you had a stutter. You haven't got a stutter. I have when I'm under pressure. You're under pressure now. Then s stop it. <laughs> What's the matter? Frighten you might get an attack of asthma. Asthma? You told him you had asthma as well. You haven't got asthma. I have. I'm hyperventilating right now. You're not hyperventilating and you're not working hard enough. I'm pacing myself. Matthew, you've got only six weeks to go. If you worked every hour, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, yes, work every hour and arrive in the exam room mentally exhausted. I'm not leaving my fight in the gym, Dad. What? Even the teachers advise us to relax sometimes. That advice is for people who've worked all the year, not for you. You can do too much studying. I'm not getting acne. You won't get acne. Oh, well, if I study too hard. First it's the dandruff and then it's the spots. I've seen it happen. You end up worrying about the spots instead of the exam. Studying never hurt anyone, Matthew. Oh, you tell that to Edwards. Did he get spots? No. Became a born again Christian. <laughs> Jumped out the classroom window to prove his faith. Now he's taking the exam on crutches. And you'll be taking the exam on crutches if you don't buckle down. Now open your books. You are going to study if I have to stand over you all night. Yes, Dad. Oh, and uh, Matthew. Yes? Your mother loves you. <laughs> Is she? Yeah. Good. And, uh, I, uh, love you. What? And if you ever tell a total stranger that we have a stormy relationship again, there's going to be trouble. You are working in a calm and loving atmosphere. <laughs> Just remember that! <laughs> You're right, Stephen. I should be getting back. No, you need to relax, Stephen. We've been worried about you. Have you? Yeah. I mean, I think we've caught him just in time. I knew there was something wrong when we sat behind him in history and saw that spot coming up on his neck. What? <laughs> and there's the dandruff. Dandruff? Or you could go like Edwards. Well, what's happened to Edwards? Won't come in anymore. Thinks the principal's anti-Christ. <laughs> you could be right. I must go. I'm worried about economics. Look, economics you don't want to worry about. It's just concentrated codswallop. I mean, no-one understands it. You just draw a few graphs. And I must spend some time with Jane Austen. Soon you and me. <laughs> She's the last woman I'd want to spend an evening with. Yeah, all right, girly talk. We should have done the Bob Geldof book. <sighs> we still have to revise. My father wants me to do well. Yeah, well, of course he does. So that he can go into his office and say, my son's got three A's. Only by the time he's finished, it'll sound like he's got them. Well, I know it doesn't matter that much to you, Dusty. What do you mean? Of course it matters to me. Look, I've got to get through this time. I'm the oldest one in the class. I mean, I'm shaving twice a day. And besides, I owe it to my father and my own self-respect. You mean you're really going to work? No. I'm going to cheat. <laughs>
today's the day, Matthew. Yes. I know you don't want to talk about it. No. No, all I want to say is, win or lose, I won't reproach you. You won't? No, no, we're not going to let this come between us. Not that important. I want to say it's not that important. <laughs> it's important. Your whole life's at stake. But it's not that important. And it doesn't mean you have to panic. The worst thing you can do at this stage is to panic. Just read the paper carefully and leave enough time to answer each question. And remember, good answer should be like a lady's dress. What? Long enough to cover the subject and short enough to be interesting. <laughs> oh, my God! Don't blaspheme, Matthew. You're going to need all the help you can get. It's really important to you, isn't it, that I get through? It's my dearest wish, Matthew. And to show you how, dear, I'm going to give you £100 for an A, 50 for a B, and 25 for a C. What about a D? <laughs> You're not thinking of getting a D, are you? You want to be a flopperoo all your life? You should be thinking of A's. Wait a minute, what happened to no reproaches? Yes, yes I'm sorry. Did you sleep well? Not really. Did you have your oval team? Yeah. <laughs> what is it today? Economics this morning, history this afternoon. Oh, history? Oh, I was good at history. What do you know about uh, the factory acts? Nothing. <laughs> well, what do you know about the Home Rule Bill? Not a lot. The Israelis' foreign policy? No. Ask me about the Great Reform Bill. Why? I know that. <laughs> Matthew, <clears throat> I'm getting a little worried here. How many answers do you know? Really well. Yeah. Four. Four? Well, I didn't have time to learn any more. It's enough for a pass. Don't worry, they come up most years. But what if they don't? Don't panic, Father. The worst thing we can do at this stage is to panic. <laughs> Nervous? What do you think? Don't be. All the answers are inside the toilet roll, third cubicle. What? <laughs> Changed it this morning. Any problem, say you got a tummy upset. Suppose they won't let me go. Well, they have to. And they can't risk a nasty accident. <laughs> He'll come with you, but he won't come inside. Too embarrassing. Won't they be suspicious if we both go? It's all right, I won't have to. I had another idea last night. Have a minto. <laughs> Thanks. The answers are inside the paper. <laughs> what? The writing's a bit small. Well, it has to be. How will you read it? You'll see. Silence, everyone. <laughs> This is Mr. Trent. He's your invigilator. He'd like a few words. Uh, thank you. Uh, do you all have your board numbers? Good. What board number's that, sir? Uh, you were issued with a board number. Find this board number, will you, Mr. Palmer? Please, sir, is that the number we were issued with? Yes. <laughs> now, you'll find the question paper face down on your desk. Don't touch them. Now, before you commence, a few words of warning. I may come as a surprise to some of you, but cheating is not allowed. Oh. <laughs> Anyone found cheating will have its paper cancelled. Not only the paper in question, but all other papers within the subject and all other subjects within the examination. Do you understand? Would that apply to history as well, sir? Yes. And English, sir? Of course. Would he be disqualified, sir? That's what I've just said. Would there be a prosecution? No, he'd simply be disqualified. Would he be able to take it again next year, sir? Will you be quiet? <laughs> I'd like to point out that not only will he be disqualified, but he brings shame upon himself and a great deal of pain to his unfortunate parents. So, there'll be no talking, gestures, coughs, grunts, or any other attempts to communicate. There'll be no looking round. If anyone faints, vomits, or throws a fit, you will ignore him. <laughs> In other words, you may look up for inspiration down in desperation, but not sideways for information. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! He's awfully good, isn't he? <laughs> now, you may begin. Oh. Don't move! <laughs> no talking. Walk him around outside, would you, Mr. Palmer? Now, carry on, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Trinity does. Only for close work, sir. Please, sir. Yeah. May I go to the toilet? Already? Yes, sir. I didn't you were to just come in. Uh, nerves, sir. Very well, well, but I'll have to come with you. Uh, Mr. Palmer, would you take over? Strain Miller? <laughs> yes, sir. I think we'll take those sweets until afterwards. Carry on. Hurry <laughs> <laughs> up in there. Yes, sir. <coughs> Willard, you're wasting valuable time. Do hurry. Coming, sir. Quite finished, Willow. Yes, sir. Then you better get back. Sir. Wait a minute. Have you read what it says here? No, sir. It says, now wash your hands. <laughs> Put your pens down. Mr. Palmer will collect your papers, then you may go. And that is with the exception of you three. Willows, Miller Smith, you may be aware that you three are involved in a clash of subjects. Your afternoon examination has already been taken by certain candidates, so to avoid meeting them over lunch and discussing the paper, you will stay here and remain incommunicado. Can't we speak to anyone, sir? <laughs> That's what incommunicado means, Villa. We've got to eat, sir. We, we've burnt up a lot of energy. Oh, I'll get you a Kit Kat. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> How did you get on? I did quite well. I didn't. I answered what I could, but there's nothing on that toilet roll. Only now wash your hands. Well, I made a mistake there. I used good quality paper. I mean, the caretaker probably nicked it. Cheats never prosper. Shut up. And it's history this afternoon. I'm dreading it. If, if I don't get the corn balls or the great reform bill, I'm finished. We'll soon find out. How? Potter took the examination this morning. He's going to give me the numbers of the questions. We've got a code going. But why should he tell you? Well, he owes me. <laughs> he doesn't owe you. You've been twisting his arm all year. Only the left. <laughs> If he doesn't come across, I'm going to start on the right. But Potter hates you, Miller. No, he doesn't hate me, Stephen. He fears me. I have total power over Potter. Even as we speak, he is standing by the cricket scoreboard, ready to hold up the numbers. See? But you'll never see the numbers from here. I can with this. <laughs> You've thought of everything. <laughs> of course. I'll call out the numbers. You look them up on this list. And then we do a spot of quick revision. I can't listen to this. It's cheating. Well, then cover your ears. <laughs> Number five. Number five. The factory's acts no. Number nine. Home rule. Number twelve. This Rayleigh's foreign policy. I haven't done these. Then get working on them. It's too late. I'm finished. Never mind. There's still one or two numbers to go. <clears throat> no, I disagree, Matthew. It's definitely the meadow pivot. You can tell by those little yellow flecks on his wings. Most uncommon. What are you doing, Miller? Bird watching, sir. Put that away. Get on with your revision. Yes, sir. Didn't you hear Mr. Trent Willows? Yes, sir. Well, when are you going to start? Waste of time, sir. Won't be able to answer them. How do you know? Well, I, I don't know exactly. No, and you won't until you've looked at the paper. Now get on. I can do this. 
Well, I'm glad to hear the last two years haven't been entirely wasted, Willows. Carry on. Potter, you bastard. <laughs> George! Waiting for Matthew? Yes, he's going to get his results. How do you feel? Quietly confident. <laughs> Poor old Purse isn't. He's been locked in the gents ever since we came in. <laughs> Didn't do the work, you see. You have to do the uh, work. We were very well prepared. Yes, yeah, so were we. Planned it like a military operation, George. <laughs> Found it a bit easy, really. <laughs> mm, a bit of a breeze, I thought. I can't be talking much more of this. <laughs> Last night I was. Praying for two C's. No, I'd settle for a D. Do you think they'll take him with a D? I don't think they'd take him if he was studded in diamonds. <laughs> well, worst results in living memory. Principals on sick leave and the history teachers taking an overdose. <laughs> you didn't even get a D, did you? No. no, you wouldn't listen to me, you wouldn't do the work, and now you're full of excuses. I've got two B's and a C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, that's wonderful. Well, I was lucky the questions came up. No, no, you did really well. For the first time, I'm proud of you. Two B's and a C. And what do you get to see in? English. <laughs> you got a C in English? <laughs> Your mother tongue, you should have done better than that. What? How'd you get on, Henry? <laughs> Two B's and a C. Congratulations. Yeah, a bit lucky, really. Questions came up. <laughs> How did you do? Three B's. Ooh, very <laughs> consistent. Now, you deserved it. Yeah, no, thank you. Mm. First got two C's. Well done, Pers. <laughs> Not bad, considering. <laughs> I couldn't go to it again, though. Oh, <laughs> neither can I. Oh. Well, what are we waiting for? This calls for a drink. Yes. Shall we shoot pool? 